Roger, Klaus is losing it. No one's coming to his party. I'm paralyzed. Because he's Klaus, I know no one else will show up. So that means I don't have to come in a persona. I can come as myself. But who is that, Steve? What does that mean? I don't know how Roger dresses. I don't know how Roger acts. I, I don't know Roger. <laughs> Roger, Roger, we can do this. Because you know who this is? This vulnerable guy I'm talking to? That's Roger. <gasps> Roger's bald? So I don't know if you're allowed, but can you tell me anything about the future? Oh, you've got lots of stuff to look forward to. We go to Korea to investigate rumors of a reinvented Noah's Ark. You bring James Garfield back to life. You become a horse briefly. There's a salt mine in our backyard. Do, do we have any kids? Oh, yeah. We also have a talking fish named Klaus. And an alien named Roger lives with us. There's a koala named Reginald for a while. Forget what happens to him. And then there's Rogu, who kind of came off of Roger. So... Rogu is Roger's baby? Not in the traditional sense, but he does breastfeed him. So, I gotta say, I'm kind of liking the sloppy older thing you got going on, old Stan. Oh, yeah? There's no term for this, but I've always been into the bods of dads. Dad bod. Oh, my God, that's so funny. You're so funny. You are a dad, aren't you? Did you knock me up, Stan? I sure did. We have a daughter, Haley, and... Don't tell me their names. I don't want to hear the names. Just tell me you knock me up real good. Maybe you shouldn't get so close. Old Francine's already pretty mad at me. She'll be even madder if she heard me call her old Francine. Well, that better be our little secret, then. Maybe we should have other secrets. We could even get Radica in the mix. Fully clothed and completely off-limits to you, of course, but... She'd be in the mix. Francine, I know all I ever talk about is how I'm going to kill Osama bin Laden, but I'm also full of a lot of love. And just as much as I want to kill him, I love you. Whatever I did that you're mad at me about in the future, I apologize. You were right, and I'm sorry. You're going to have a great life. Enjoy every second of it. Is that Radica? Get in here, girl. Mm. What the? Um, I should have known. You. How could I not see that coming? You pulled a classic separation move on me. I taught us that. To use against others. We never made that deal. Share your man. Are you, are you mad about this? Me? Well, really. I mean, if you're me, then I'm about to have sex for the eighth time. That's a healthy attitude. Want to come over here and give me a double extra good time standing? See if you can make your wangs meet in the middle. Staniel, may I see you in the kitchen? Which one of- You! I can't believe you! Cheating on me the first second you get a chance? Yeah, but cheating on you with you! That's romantic! I have an idea. What if both Francines cool off with a hot, steamy shower? You know what? If you love the past so much, you can stay here until you've learned your lesson. Why don't you keep them if you want them so much, young me? I'm going back to the present. Wait, Francine, you can't leave two stands here in one timeline. What if we kiss and can't stop kissing? Fine. I'm taking the stand I like better. Goodbye, Stan. Okay, all right, no problem. I still have you in your prime. Now, where were we? Actually, some of the stuff old me was saying sounded kind of bad. Don't listen to her. She's crazy. She's me. I, I meant crazy in a cool way. Cool runnings. Is that from now? I'd be pretty mad if you slept with 20 years ago, me. She'd be eight. Exactly, you perv. <clears throat> I'm going to crash at Trisha's until I find my own place. Good luck, Stan. Santa? Oh. <laughs> 